Well, welcome back, everybody. Thank you very much uh, for joining us again. Um, this is the uh, People's Hearing for the Monkens Replacement Project. Uh, we're today taking um, evidence and submissions from uh, members of the public and stakeholders uh, to understand them uh, and check to see whether the evidence base that's been created is uh, robust and strong, um, and also to make some contributions to the measures which will be used uh, at a later stage in the process to, um, uh, to decide which uh, site is actually uh, the best. Uh, for the new hospital. Um, I'd like uh, once again to take this opportunity. We've uh, uh, had some changes for those of you who've been following us uh, all morning. Um, so I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce ourselves again. I'm Paul Parsons. I'm an independent chair for today. Uh, and our panel members are? Um, Isabel Brown, independent panel member, trying to focus a little bit on economic development, skills and learning. I'm Douglas Ross from Karen Brown, here to support on costs and programme matters. Um, I'm going to apologise for having called Douglas David through the last session, um, but Douglas. I'm Douglas Bizet from WSP. I, I'm looking at traffic and transportation matters for each of the candidate sites. I'm <coughs> Harry Burns, an independent panel member and professor of public health at Strathclyde University. And I'm going to ask Lisa to come forward and again... Um, uh, Professor Kennedy is not available um, uh, to be with us today. Um, we're very grateful for the submission from the Staff Association. Um, and uh, Lisa, if you'd like to introduce yourself, uh, is going to read it into the record for us. Hi, my name is Lisa Marie Elliott. I'm the business manager for the project. Um, and today I am going to read a submission to the People's Hearing um, from University Hospital Monklands Medical Staff Association. We are grateful for the opportunity to provide this written submission to the People's Hearing as part of the process of staff and public engagement on the Monklands Replacement Project. This response represents the consensus view of the University Hospital Monklands Medical Staff Association, which consists of consultants and other senior medical staff. Our original submission was made on October 2018 but at that time, only Glen Mavis and Gartkosh were being considered as potential sites for the new hospital. The current document builds on the previous version, importantly taking into consideration Western Moffat as an additional potential site. The University Hospital Monklands, MSA, has discussed the issues relating to the future replacement of the University Hospital Monklands on a number of occasions in recent years, as the planning and discussion has evolved. Many members of the University Hospital Monklands MSA currently serve as members of various groups and subgroups within the project and therefore have a close understanding of the underlying detail. We note the detailed information on each of the three shortlisted sites, Gartkosh, Glen Mavis and Western Moffat, that has been published on the dedicated MRP webpage and we have reconsidered the issue of the optimal location for the new hospital based on this updated evidence. Written and verbal opinion from the University Hospital Monklands MSA membership has been sought and obtained, which has shaped our submission. The next paragraph is titled The Replacement of University Hospital Monklands. The view of the membership of the University Hospital Monklands MSA remains clear and unequivocal. There is overwhelming support for the new hospital on a new site. This allows for the establishment of a revised and exciting fully developed modern clinical model, an absolutely key consideration in our view. This new clinical model would undoubtedly benefit our patients in terms of improved quality of care, improved safety, and a better overall patient experience. We feel that a new hospital on a new site also offers major advantages from a medical staffing perspective. As a new purpose-built modern hospital, and indeed just having confirmed plans for a new hospital of this kind, will, in our view, be a major help with our extremely challenging current medical recruitment and retention issues. We do understand the public's concerns regarding the potential gap that will be left in the Cote Dyke area when the existing hospital moves. We therefore welcome the plans to re redevelop the current site as a health and wellbeing campus and would expect this to improve service provision for the local community. In addition, we also welcome plans to deliver new improved bus routes and changes to existing train routes, 
as this would be essential to accommodate any areas that are disadvantaged by a move to another site. The next paragraph is titled a location for the new hospital. The MRP webpage describes the process used to development the shortlist of three sites which all meet the five selection criteria. Extensive detailed information is also presented relating to the sites themselves and their respective site specific challenges, including ground investigation works, transport considerations, um, which is an absolutely key issue in our view, and anticipated costs. The main advantage of the Garkosh option relates to its transport links. There is close proximity to the motorway network, a key advantage, and also to Garkosh railway station, which is very close, um, we understand 750 metres from the Garkosh site. This is comparable with the current University Hospital Monkland site. The closest railway station to the Western Moffat location is Drumgellic, which is considerably further away, we understand approximately 1.3 kilometres from the proposed site, which is unlikely to be an acceptable transport solution for many patients and relatives or for clinical staff coming off a long shift in the cold um, and dark of winter. The nearest railway stations to the Glen Glenmavis location are Airdrie and Drumgellic, both approximately five kilometres from the site, so these are completely unrealistic options. These are vital considerations for patients as well as for staff. It needs to be emphasised that a high proportion of junior medical staff, along with a sig significant proportion of senior medical staff, live in Glasgow, and many currently travel um, to University Hospital Monklands by train. We believe that moving to either the Glen Mavis or the Western Moffat site would disencourage these staff, as they would need to drive by car rather than using public transport um, solutions which would um, regard as particularly inconvenient. Recruitment of new consultants will almost certainly be an issue with the Glen Mavis site and to a lesser extent Western Moffat, as many potential consultant applicants will have trained in Glasgow and now live there. They are much more likely to look for a post in Glasgow rather than Lanarkshire if travel to work is perceived to be difficult. Obviously, this would be a step in entirely the wrong direction from both an environmental and a sustainability perspective. Being on a train route and close to the strategic motorway network is also very important for students, medical nursing and AHPs, as well as for a potential attendees to meetings, conferences and examinations at the new hospital. These are vital considerations if this hospital is going to live up to its university status and intended function. Strong university links are already in place. The expectation is that these university links will be developed further in future with an ambitious, ambitious vision for a modern educational facility within the new hospital campus. The new hospital could and should become a major training centre for Scottish healthcare staff. It is easy to envisage how a new modern hospital with good postgraduate facilities at the Garkush site could be a major regional educational asset. It is hard to envisage this happening with a hospital on the Glen Mavis site. From a patient perspective, the Garkosh site also appears to offer significant advantages over the other options in terms of access for patients across the catchment area. A number of Pan Lanarkshire services and centres of excellence are based at University Hospital Monklands, including dermatology, urology, ENT, haematology, renal medicine and infectious diseases. Good motorway and rail links are very important for the patients who attend these services from all over Lanarkshire. Even for patients located in the principal catchment area of the existing University Hospital Monklands, a move to Garkosh rather than Glen Mavis or Western Moffat would appear to be advantageous from an access perspective. The exception probably being patients and staff from Airdrie and some of its surrounding villages who travel by public transport. Another concern relates to timescales. Whilst we pride ourselves on the excellent care that we currently provide at the University Hospital Monklands, the public needs to be aware of the huge challenges that we frequently face when trying to deliver this care in a rapidly aging building. Drainage issues, water supply issues, roof leaks, etc., have all caused significant disruption to clinical services in recent times. 
We therefore need to get the new hospital site agreed and the hospital built as soon as possible. As clinicians, we are concerned indeed by the significant delay that has already occurred in taking forward the Monkland replacement project, particularly as some of the most vulnerable patients in Lanarkshire are cared for at the University Hospital Monklands um, in patients, haematology, renal and infectious diseases. Both Western Moffat and Glen Mavis sites proposals are entirely dependent on the construction of a new single carriageway East Airdrie Link Road. The timescales for which are not clear to us and we are not and are not in control of the health board. Additionally, for the Western Moffat site, our understanding is the site access at present is very poor indeed, probably requiring construction of a new road for site access prior to any building work commencing and hence delaying the commencement of the hospital construction by six months and adding cost. In summary, our strong preference would be to move to the Gartcross site based on, in particular, access by road and rail. We recognise the Western Moffat site meets the requirements to a lesser extent, depending on the timescales for the East Airdrie Link Road, um, and maybe a deliverable option, but our view is that Glen Mavis site is not supportable. It is also vital that plans to develop stronger public transport links, both rail and bus, are implemented as this move goes ahead. Um, any questions regarding this submission should be addressed to Dr. Nicholas Kennedy, the Chair of University Hospital Monklands Medical Staff Association. Thank you very much, Lisa. So, again, quite a few um, uh, different issues covered in that. I wonder, given that um, uh, this submission comes from the Medical Staff Association, Sir Harry, if we can't turn to you firstly for comments. Yeah. I have a lot of sympathy with the points raised in this uh, submission. Recruitment and retention of staff is a real issue in uh, Scottish Health Service and it's not going to be made any easier by Brexit and so on. Uh, there are areas of Scotland that really struggle to appoint consultants and Lanarkshire so far hasn't been one of those. In fact, Lanarkshire has shown some real ambition in terms of um, developing university status for its hospitals and so on. Consultants, hospital consultants, are consultants and are doing that kind of work because they're interested in developing their own specialties. Many of them will want to do some kind of research in order to improve outcomes for patients and so on. And they would be attracted to, they are attracted to Lanarkshire anyway, but increasingly Lanarkshire is keen to develop that whole uh, research and development element of care. So uh, Dr. Kennedy is essentially making the point that a hospital built as quickly as possible in an area that's accessible and developed and able to be developed into a major university research and teaching facility that would be good for patients so this is something else that has to go in and be traded off against all the other considerations that the scoring system will, will produce but it is a very real and important issue that needs to be considered Thank you very much. Um, yes, thank you. I, I'm, I'm aware that there's a paragraph, um, important as it, uh, as it is, about support for the new hospital, um, which we can probably leave as that decision is made in terms of building a new hospital and move on to um, uh, the question of where. Before we do, I wonder um, if we can't bring Douglas in to talk about the questions that are raised around the timescale for the um, for the project on page three. Okay. Thank you, Chair. The points made uh, regards to East Airdrie Link Road are very valid. In terms of as of February 2020, the, the route and the timescale for development are as yet fully defined. Um, but from engagement with the Council, we've been working on an assumption in terms of the programme and the programme for the East Airdrie Link Road is to start the first half of 2024, which is around 12 months later 
then when the hospital construction is forecast to start, so if you take the two sites at Glen Mavis and Western Moffat, which are both sites that are currently remote from any road network, they are fully reliant on a temporary road in order to facilitate construction. So the construction of those um, sites cannot take place in probably till at least six months after when we forecast Gart Kosh could start because it has a mature road network for access. So the point is very valid about adding cost and adding time um, for both those sites compared to sort of Gart Kosh. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm going to ask this out to the um, uh, to the audience, I uh, to, the, to the experts out, I think, or you might be able to answer, um, the, 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 the relative costs of those are already taken into account. Yeah, both of each of the, the costs that are in the, the, the cost report that's been published reflect the time scales and the constraints for developing each of the sites. And as an allowance has been made in Western Moffat and um, Glen Mavis for the inflation impact of the delay and the additional cost of temporary roads. There is no cost uh, included for the East Airlie Link Road because that's been provided wholly by the council. Thank you. Um, I think this is the first time we've seen today um, somebody specifically talk about the speed at which the, the new hospital needs to be um, uh, uh, up and running. I think it's also um, uh, a relatively easy step, a uh, logical step, to say that um, a nice new building would be an, a, a more attractive place to work um, and, and may well aid um, uh, uh, recruitment and retention um, over a building which if, um, is described here as with, with roof leakages and um, uh, drainage issues and water supply issues and various other things. So a new building would be more um, uh, attractive to work in. Um, uh, that would be the likelihood. Um, Isabel, would you like to offer your reflections? Yeah, sure. I, I think, um, Chair, the um, diversity of um, submissions today has to be welcomed. Um, I can see very clearly here that um, the MSA have um, come, you know, they, they, they've said they're, they're in favour of the Gartkosh site. Um, whereas we know from previous submissions that, you know, others were saying that was their least favourite. So it does present, um, you know, the um, the board with, you, you, at least we've had representation across, you know, the piece, which has been positive in terms of the process. Um, I think if um, wherever the site is, um, for the hospital to be an exemplar site that does attract the best not just in the west of Scotland, but the, you know across the UK in terms of an educational facility, um, you know is really positive, and that does then mean the um, ease of access wherever it be um, has to be one of the, the main considerations. So um, I, I don't um, underestimate, and, and I, I don't take lightly um, the delays in terms of um, you know waiting on the the orbital um, you know road being. Um, developed and built um, that would have on the you know the the, the, the project so I do think that um, that you know when we look at the scoring um, and making sure that there's a balanced view that it will be important to build these points in I think um, thank you very much um, uh, I think Sahari raised an important point that there are different considerations with um, uh, that, that will need to be balanced um, and that any decision at the end of this will be a compromise between uh, between different factors. Um, and I know this is a this is a discussion um, for later on when we talk about um, the benefits criteria. Um, but it seems to me that we have some emerging um, uh, differentiation between the needs and benefits to to uh, running the hospital and actually the needs and, and, and benefits to the, to the patient population, um, uh, which will be interesting to explore this afternoon. Um, Douglas, um, would you like to comment on the um, uh, transport issues that are contained at the top of the, the piece here? Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, uh, Dr Kennedy makes uh, some very interesting observations, um, and he, uh, if I can briefly summarise the they, they say that transport uh, considerations are key in, 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 in their view and um, he discusses good motorway and rail links 
uh, is important for the, the patients who attend these services and uh, the staff. Uh, uh, highlighting the example at Garkosh of the adjacent motorway and the, the station, which we've already discussed this morning, y you can have a station in close proximity to a site, but it depends on what population it actually serves, if it's actually relevant or not. Um, there, there is um, good information in regards to Drumgellock in terms of the line that that's on. That's the same rail line as currently serves the existing Monklands Hospital site. Um, albeit it's acknowledged that it's approximately 1.3 kilometres from the Western Moffat site, which would indicate that you would have to run a shuttle bus to service that, that site from Drumgellock Station, uh, as opposed to Garkosh, where it's within approximately 750 to 800 metres, where there is a propensity for people to walk from stations up to 800 metres, uh, approximately. But that doesn't preclude the provision of a shuttle service at, at that station either. Um, so so that's, a, that's an interesting, I suppose, dilemma that, that faces us with, with these two sites. And obviously it's acknowledged that the Glen Mavis site does not have a train station in close proximity to it. Thank you very much. Does anybody have any further questions or comments on the um, submission that we have? Uh, can I ask the same of the um, uh, our, our assembled audience? Any issues to raise? Um, then it uh, leaves me to say um, thank you to the Medical Staff Association for their submission. We very much appreciate that. Um, we have, um, can I also confirm in the room that we have nobody else wishing to make a submission today? Okay, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for those of you um, uh, watching online. Uh, we will take a, uh, a, a short break now until one o'clock when we'll reconvene to discuss the benefits criteria. Um, thank you very much to everybody who's submitted and taken the time to, to submit. Thank you very much to the panel members this morning. Um, uh, for your contributions, um, and we will uh, will feed back to the to the project team um, our, our thoughts and, and considerations um, uh, uh, following on from this. Thank you very much.